it's day one on Palen. It's about two or three degrees outside. There's snow all over the place. It's been snowing for three days in a row. Palen is nice and wet. Uh, I hope the sun is going to dry her a bit today and I hope to get some tape and some plastic over all the cracks I can find on the top of her and then we're going to go downstairs into the bilge and try and get as much water out of her, dry her out as much as possible so that over the spring we can try and figure out where the water is coming in. And if you look down to the wheelhouse you're going to see from the first window a nice big crack along the glass fibre between the two windows. That's where we start. There you go, some really cheap plastic and tape. But as you can see it's snowing again and this will just uh, keep the worst of the weather out of the boat. Sunny over Stockholm though. Okay, job number two. We're facing the uh, bow of the boat. Uh, running along just behind me here is the keel. Uh, you can see here the old uh, wooden bed and the panelling around the wood, which is all done in pine. And uh, that's only really going to last the season. So all of that's got to come out. We've got to get to the bottom of the boat where we can see the top of the, the keel the garboards, which is the two bits of wood either side of the keel, and we've got to get the water out. Well, I've stripped out the bed area, and as you can see, I've left the beams in because you've just got something to hold on to, which is kind of good. Uh, if you have a look down in the bilge now, you can see plenty of nice murky water there. And uh, what I want to do is take the vacuum cleaner and suck all this gunge out of here and try and get it as dry as possible. So as you can see behind me, I've pretty much stripped out as much wood as I can for the end of day one. There was a lot of damp against the side of the boat, so I'm very glad I've done it. It might not look that pretty right now, but the wood is breathing, it'll dry out, the bilge is clean at the front of the boat, and it's all looking very, very healthy. Um, I guess day two, we start to look at the middle of the boat.